In a previous video, I looked at setting up Open Media Vault on the Raspberry Pi 3. Now, the particular uh, drive of that video was to look at Plex Media Server Plugin and configure it and look at its performance. Now, if you missed that video, you'll find the link at the bottom of the screen. So, in this particular video, we're going to take the uh, Open Media Vault to the next level. We're going to be looking at its NAS capabilities. So this is setting up a RAID array. Now this is quite impressive for a Pi uh, and I was quite impressed on how it performs. Now I actually managed to set up a mirror and a RAID 5 um, using some USB pens. Now I also did some testing with hard drives and SSDs. Now I've done NAS videos before and a lot of you guys are saying uh, you've had difficulties getting uh, USB hard drives to work. Now, one of the most important things to remember about the Pi is the USB doesn't give out more than five volts. So if you've got a spindle drive that you plug into the Pi, it's not gonna work. It just ends up clicking. The way around that is to use a powered USB hub, uh, and that gives it enough voltage to work. Now, testing it out with an SSD works perfectly fine, as well as uh, using USB pens. Now, the other thing to remember is, obviously with RAID, if you're setting up, say, a mirror, for example, is it's all well and good when it's all plugged in, but if you want to take your Pi, or you want to take the data, say, for example, and it contains all of your media, and you want to take it to your mate's house, unplugging one of the pens to go to your mate's house won't work because what you'll do is you'll break the array. So another feature of Open Media Vault, and it's what I've also covered in previous videos, is R-Sync, and that is a file level copy. Um, so if you've got all your media on one USB pen, it will make a copy to the second and you'll be able to remove them at will and take them wherever you want. But just do remember guys, when you raid, so that they're mirrored, you've got two USB pens working together uh, to give you redundancy. Do remember, you cannot remove the other pen. Uh, it will break the array and it will not work. So let's see how we got on. So the first thing, as a baseline, I create a share on the um, internal SD card um, that you fit. And as we can see, we're getting that kind of 11 meg uh, a second here. If we took it out to the mirror up on the top right of the screen, we're getting consistently the same data transfer. So using the USB set up as a mirror, we're also getting around the sort of 8, 9, 10 meg um, a second. But when we configure it as three USB pens and set up a parity, which is shown at the bottom right of the screen, then as you can see, it's only transferring about two, three megasecond. It's absolutely diabolical. So I think for the purposes of the Pi, you can use a mirror fine for media, um, but a parity is absolutely no good. So if you're gonna be using the Pi just to be storing documents, then parity will be fine. But if you want to be using it as a media um, streaming uh, NAS, then I think uh, it will be an epic fail. Okay, so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and uh, thanks for listening.